Members of Parliament got to hear from the Prime Minister today about those once lost emails that have suddenly reappeared. The RCMP was originally told that Benjamin Perrin's emails about the Wright Duffy deal were deleted when Perrin left his job with the Prime Minister's office. Three months later, Canadians learned that was not true. And the opposition wanted Stephen Harper to explain. Senior correspondent Terry Malefsky watched it unfold. Terry. Well, Peter, it's the first time in a week that the Prime Minister has set foot in question period, and it did not go well. Why was the law broken? Once again, Tom Mulcair was on the attack, Stephen Harper playing defense. Mr. Speaker, it is, of course, the responsibility of all employees to follow the applicable rules. Again, the focus was the strange reappearance of yeah, Benjamin Perrin's emails. He is the former PMO lawyer who negotiated the deal to pay off Mike Duffy's expenses. First, the PMO told the Mounties the emails were deleted. But months later, the Privy Council Office, that's the Prime Minister's own ministry, said they found them. It is the bureaucracy that holds the records for uh, departed employees. It had indicated it did not have such records. But if Mr. Perrin's emails were frozen due to, quote, unrelated litigation, as the Prime Minister claimed last Sunday, wouldn't the head of legal operations have had those emails all along? Harper chose not to answer that. Mr. Speaker, once again, uh, the official in question did indicate that there were no such records later discovered that was not the case. Harper said his office was not to blame. The bureaucracy was. Mr. Speaker, as the uh, bureaucracy has said, uh, it misinformed the Prime Minister's office on those facts. Does the Prime Minister really not know that he's the minister in charge of that bureaucracy? Harper called it an inadvertent error, but he ran into trouble again with questions about Senator Irving Gerstein, the Tory fundraiser who agreed to pay some of Mike Duffy's expenses. The Prime Minister's head of fundraising offered Conservative donor money to a sitting legislator. So why does Senator Irving Gerstein still enjoy the complete confidence of the Prime Minister? Uh, Mr. Speaker, of course, uh, the Senator denies that. The fact that answer is a problem because Gerstein has not, in fact, denied that he approved using Conservative funds to pay Duffy's bills. Now, Gerstein was offered a chance to deny it today at a Senate committee that he chairs. The Liberals moved that he explain his actions on the Duffy file. But that motion was ruled out of order by Senator Gerstein. Peter. Terry Malewski in Ottawa tonight.